Long Beach Container Terminal has operated in the Port of Long Beach for 37 years. My name is Anthony Otto, and I'm the president of Long Beach Container Terminal. About 10 years ago, um, the port came to us and uh, asked us if we wanted to participate in what's commonly referred to as the Middle Harbor Redevelopment Project. From its inception all the way through um, operation, I've kind of been the project leader. TBA was there as really the leading company in the area of simulation. Of course, simulation is important to be able to prove and refine your designs, and clearly they had more experience in that field than anybody. TBA was there to assist with on-site support and off-site support. Hello, I'm Josh Johnson with Long Beach Container Terminal. I'm the Operations Development Manager. Uh, this is a collaborative process. We require the hardware to work, the software to work, the toss to work, even the people. Even in an automated world, we can't get away from people. So we worked with TBA to help design what we needed, and I think that I can speak for me and my team that we definitely trust the system every day. So it's definitely a, a team effort that we continue to push forward. And one of the biggest pieces of software was Teams from TBA. And I use that software as the ECS, or the Equipment Control Software. It sits in between the people and in between the machines to pick a proven software with a track record that was going to get us where we needed to go. But this is a Teams facility, and Teams, controls, and even the simulation, nobody knows the software, and simulation and the Teams software kind of go hand in hand. So I, I wouldn't entrust that to anyone other than TBA, to be honest. We had a unique situation here in that we have large vessels that produce very high move counts which really lends itself to be able to maximize the use of multi-lift capability. Since operating now for over two years, it's been the path of, you know, first stabilization and then getting productivity up to what is an acceptable level. And then probably over the last year, it's been really tuning the machine or going through the optimization phase. So from the beginning, just through the simulation process, the refining of the design of the facility, some decisions on the size of the fleet that was necessary, all the way through the development, all the way to going live finally, and now operating for two years. TBA has been there from the beginning up until now, and we have every intention to keep that partnership going into the future.